Hello students, how are you all? This is Praful and I welcome you all to our very own YouTube channel that is nothing but One Page Biology. So dear students, in today's uh, video, we are going to discuss a very interesting topic which is nothing but the nervous system of cockroach. So are you all ready for this particular topic, dear students? As you all know that in humans, we all are blessed with a nervous system, right? So what is exactly the job of nervous system? The nervous system basically controls and coordinates different functions of our body, whether they are the voluntary functions like walking, talking, exercising, etc., or whether it is the involuntary functions of our body, like for example, the digestive system or the functions which are related to our immunity, etc. So all these functions are basically controlled and coordinated by the nervous system of our body. So we all know that human nervous system is divided into three different parts. That is nothing but the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, as well as the autonomic nervous system. But do you all know that how the nervous system of a cockroach works. So in this particular video, we are going to understand how the nervous system of the cockroach works. So let me tell you dear students that even the nervous system of the cockroach is divided into three different parts. That is nothing but the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, as well as the autonomous nervous system. Nervous system in case of cockroach is made up of ganglia. Now you may wonder, dear students, what exactly is ganglia? So ganglia is nothing but a mass of neurons. So that means, dear students, that the entire nervous system of a cockroach is made up of many, many ganglia. So whether it is a cerebral ganglia or thoracic ganglia or abdominal ganglia, these are the different sets of ganglia which actually form the part of the nervous system of a cockroach and they help in controlling and coordinating different functions of the cockroach. The nervous system of the cockroach consists of different segments of this ganglia. So as we are going to go further in this particular video, you will understand that the nerve cord of the cockroach is made up of different different ganglia which are divided into segments. So basically dear students, in case of cockroaches, the central nervous system is made up of a nerve ring and a nerve cord. Like how in humans, the central nervous system is made up of mainly the brain and the spinal cord. When we say central nervous system, it should mean that the part should be part of the central axis of the body. So same way, dear students, here the nerve ring and the nerve cord forms the central part of the cockroach. So what exactly is the nerve ring? Now the nerve ring is basically a mass of neurons which is present in the head portion of the cockroach. So dear students, in this case, the nerve ring consists of different sets of ganglia which are present inside the head of a neuron. So what are these different sets of ganglia? The nerve ring consists of three major ganglia which are present in the head of the cockroach. What are these different ganglia? The very first ganglia is known as supraesophageal ganglion. The second type of ganglia which is present in the head of the cockroach is called as circumesophageal connectives. And the third type of ganglia, which is present in the head portion of the cockroach, is called as subesophageal ganglia. Now, dear students, you might find these terms a bit difficult to remember. But if you just focus on the words, you will be able to understand the meaning of it. Let me tell you the very first type of ganglia which is present in the head. It is called as supraesophageal ganglia. Here the word supra means above. Esophageal means the esophagus, which is also very commonly called as the food pipe. You guys know that even in the human digestive system, we all have a food pipe which is known as esophagus. So likewise, even the cockroaches have a food pipe which is known as esophagus. So here the word supraesophageal ganglion means this is a ganglia which is present above the esophagus, which is present in the head region of the cockroach. Now the next is circumesophageal connectors. Now what is the job of circumesophageal connectors? First of all, the word circum means it is circular in shape and connective means it is connecting something. So here, dear students, circumesophageal connective is actually connecting the supraesophageal ganglion to the subesophageal ganglion. So the job of circumesophageal connectors is mainly to connect supra as well as the subesophageal ganglion. The third one, that is nothing but the subesophageal ganglion. Dear students, here the word sub means below. So like supra was above the esophagus, here the subesophageal ganglion is present below the esophagus of the cockroach. So what you need to know is all the three types of ganglia are present in the head region of the cockroach. Now since we have understood the head region of the cockroach which was part of the central nervous system of the cockroach, now we are going to talk about the nerve cord. As we said that the central nervous system consists of nerve ring and the nerve cord. So what is the nerve cord dear students? The nerve cord is basically nothing but two thread like structures which are passing longitudinally from the neck region 
to the posterior end of the cockroach so you can simply assume it like something like a ladder which is coming down from the neck region to the posterior end of the cockroach so this ladder consists of nerves which are going downwards as well as also the ladders are connected horizontally with the help of certain ganglia that's why dear students the nerve cord of the cockroach is divided into many many segments and that's why we say that it is made up of segmented ganglia now what we need to remember is the nerve cord of the cockroach dear students consists of three thoracic ganglia which is part of the thoracic region of the cockroach and it has also got six abdominal ganglia which is part of the abdomen of the cockroach so together the nerve cord cord and the nerve ring forms the central nervous system of the cockroach now talking about the peripheral nervous system here dear students the peripheral nervous system consists of different nerves which are arising from the ganglia which are present in the head as well as in the nerve cord of the cockroach so what is the job of these nerves which are actually coming out from supra and sub esophageal ganglia so remember dear students the nerves which are actually coming out from the supra as well as the sub esophageal ganglion they are supplied to various parts of the head so the head portion of the cockroach majorly consists of the eyes as well as the antenna as well as the different mouth parts of the cockroach so these parts are supplied by the nerves which are coming out from these ganglion which are present in the head region so they control and coordinate the function of eyes antenna as well as the different mouth parts of the cockroach and that is majorly the head portion similarly guys the nerves which are coming out from the ganglia which are present in the thoracic region as well as in the abdominal region these nerves are mainly supplied to different parts which are present in the thoracic region now what is present in the thoracic region thoracic region consists of different wings which are present in the cockroaches which mainly help for the protection of the body as well as for the flight also dear students the nerves which are coming out from the thoracic region are also supplied to the fore legs as well as to the hind legs which are mainly responsible for locomotion of the cockroach now dear students the nerves which are coming out from the abdominal region these are supplied to various digestive parts of the cockroach and these mainly play a very important role in control and coordinating the different parts which are related to the digestive system of the cockroach the last part of the nervous system of the cockroach is known as the autonomic nervous system now dear students autonomic nervous system is majorly a type of nervous system which works on its own and the mainly the role of autonomic nervous system is to control and coordinate the different involuntary functions of the body now in case of cockroach consists of different types of ganglia like for example there is one ganglion which is present in the crop region of the cockroach and that ganglion is known as ingluvial ganglion so here dear students the ingluvial ganglion is associated with the function of the crop which is mainly to help in the storage of the food so once the food starts entering from the food pipe that is the esophagus the food is going to go and store inside a sac like structure which is called as crop and this storing of the food is going to be controlled by ganglion which is known as ingluvial ganglion which is present in the crop region of the cockroach likewise there are different ganglions which are part of autonomic nervous system like the hypocerebral ganglion or for that matter the frontal ganglion so different ganglions these all are helping in carrying out different involuntary functions of the body at the same time dear students the autonomic nervous system is also responsible for controlling and coordinating different digestive functions of the cockroach so dear students based on this particular concept of nervous system of the cockroach there was a question which was asked in neat 2020 now let me read the question for you all dear students the question is if the head of the cockroach is removed it may live for few days because option number a is the sub esophageal ganglia of the cockroach are situated in the ventral part of the abdomen the second option is the cockroach does not have nervous system the third option is the head holds a small portion of a nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of its body and the fourth option is the head holds one third portion of a nervous system now dear students i hope you have understood the concept of a nervous system of a cockroach this question you have to solve as a homework dear students if you have any doubts or suggestions do let me know in the comment section if you know the answer please put it in the comment section If you have understood the concept of nervous system of the cockroach dear students please like share and subscribe to one page biology if you have any doubts or suggestions do let me know i have put my email id in the description box so see you all in the next video with some other biology related concept dear students take care of yourself thank you so much bye bye